outside of the um, of this event that where um, RFK Jr. was extolling Israeli democracy and extolling how measured their uh, military is. The uh, there's a group called Naturai Karta, and I've mentioned this before, but it's it's really interesting. Um, and you can actually find this within Israel in a uh, section of Jerusalem called Mea Sharim. There are um, ultra Orthodox uh, Jews who believe that the state of Israel should not exist, that Jews should not return to uh, Jerusalem until the Messiah arrives. To be clear, uh, Jews don't believe that the Messiah has come That's yet, so it's not a return. It would be a first, okay. a, a first right. time. Okay. Uh, put the cart before the horse, yeah, basically. right. As opposed to, yeah, G Jesus return. The Christian Zionists want Jesus to come back the Jesus second too. time, and then for all the Jews in Israel right. to, most of them. Christians to, believe that Jesus, when Jesus yeah. showed up, he was the Messiah, and uh, that prophecy was fulfilled. That's why um, the Jewish Bible is considered the Old Testament. And uh, it got a refresh with uh, the Messiah coming. The Jews d are still waiting for the other Messiah. And these Jews do not believe that um, Israel should exist without that. But what I, what I find interesting here is that they're not arguing from a religious standpoint. It is interesting uh, because it, their complaint is religious. But they have also uh, seemingly absorbed, um, you know, sort of some of the just... And, and I, I'm not saying that they're being um, uh, disingenuous. I mean, the I yeah, what's sort of the, the history of this? perspective? The, the, the sort of always exists along with side Israel or is it? Developed? Yeah, I, uh, I know that when I was in uh, Israel in 1980 uh, in Jerusalem, you could see graffiti in uh, this area, Mea Sharim, that would say Zionism and Judaism are diametrically opposed. I don't think they say that Jews can't be there, but they're just saying that like there cannot be a Jewish state before the Messiah shows up uh, on religious terms. Here we go. It seemed like the, the media accused this politician of being anti-Semitic, and now he's trying to prove that he's not anti-Semitic by saying how great Israel is. Does that right. surprise you? It doesn't surprise me because, like I said, this is uh, the, the general perception that's given uh, very successfully uh, done by the Zionists as a ploy uh, to gaining support and to stifle any opposition to the, to the state of Israel is by equating and convoluting and uh, the, the two concepts of Judaism and, and Zionism, even though it's, it's really, really uh, contra both contradictory and it's, it's, uh, it's just so blatantly wrong. Judaism is to serve God, to be peaceful, to be loving, to do uh, kindness. Zionism is a true selfish political movement of occupying another people so wrong so vicious uh, so anti what Judaism is all about and it's totally humiliating to us as practicing Jews to, to see and hear what is being done in our name other Zionist organizations makes it a point of attempting to have every single uh, faction in the United States or around the world, any, any political group, whether it's Dem Dem Democrats or Republicans or independents, it really doesn't matter. They want to actually equate uh, and convolute the issue of Judaism and the Jewish people and the state of Israel and may, may, uh, try to, uh, to create the mirage, a concept that if you're opposing uh, uh, the state of Israel, you're anti-Semitic. And uh, in truth, Israel and Zionism, they, what they're doing is the greatest exacerbator of anti-Semitism around the world. Now, I, I don't, you know, like, 
fully uh, subscribe to uh, the, uh, much of what this guy says. Yeah. Like uh, my 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 issue with Israel is not founded in a um, uh, some type of religious uh, precept of as to why uh, you know whether Israel can exist based upon God's law. Um, I do think, and I'm not convinced that you know the existence of Israel uh, is needed to exacerbate anti-Semitism. I think probably the existence of Israel is a um, is a is an attempt to address anti-Semitism that had been around for several thousand years and led to a uh, mass uh, genocide. Uh, but nevertheless, the idea that a, a, that APAC, um, in particular in this country. Um, has m equated criticism of Israel with anti-Semitism is uh, is true, and it is um, it is it, it, it is really detrimental, I think, yeah. uh, to Jews uh, writ large, but also incredibly detrimental to Palestinians. <laughs> um, uh, and I do think, though. And one of the interesting things about Marone Rappaport, uh, what he was saying, is that it had never really occurred to me that the money, um, it's one thing to condition the military support and the, the aid that we give Israel, but that the president has the ability to unilaterally um, pull back on the cover that we give Israel in international organizations. And in many respects, that is far more important. I mean, I've seen quotes, uh, you know, Israel might be able to get um, uh, money from other sources, might be able to get weapons from other sources, might be able to develop it themselves, uh, whatnot. But the, the veto power in the Security Council, the uh, protection in these uh, other inter international tribunals and whatnot, um, that to me seems to be a very, very um, uh, a potentially productive, like you know, point. Yeah, right. th this is from a 2001. But a history of the U.S. blocking UN resolutions against Israel over the past five decades is from Al Jazeera. The United States has vetoed at least 53 UN Security Council resolutions critical of Israel. 